Okay, here's a quick rundown of the beginning of my game. Kind of the tutorial-ish section. I'm going to run through it pretty quick, because I know what everything is. That's a new game. This tells me a couple buttons I can use. It's really early in the morning, so the sun is just coming up. If you go down here, it turns on the lights. I can go talk to these people. That's very nice. She tells me to go north. Oh, and I can eat her food. And then she goes and gets more. Isn't that great? So go north because I feel terrible and I always feel better up there. Okay, I follow this path to go north as much as I can. There's a cliff in the way and stuff, but I can go through here. Ooh, here's Adventure Builder Club symbols. What do I do up here? It should tell me. Yeah, okay, good. So it tells me to go talk to this thing. Yes! And this tells me to go talk to all the runes. This is the... Yes! The rune for love. This is humility. And it gives me yes! nice little life lessons as I go. Yes! And it's increasing my stats, as you can see. Yes! The mind, the body, and spirit up at the top. That one down there was strength, and then honor, and then life. Yes! Right now, these yes! are only programmed with one picture for each one. Yes! But eventually, as you go up there, the, uh, the little lessons will change. And it, it'll be kind of a guide for how to play the game. Oh, solar panels are just starting to turn on. It's getting bright enough in the morning. Oh, oh, that's, that's oh. Now she's asking me to get that log out of the way from in front of the house. And I said I would dig a hole and put it in there. So let me use the shovel and dig a hole. Let's throw the shovel back up there so I don't lose it. And, well, I know I can't lift the log. It's too heavy. But I can use the rope. I'm not, I'm not strong enough, but if I, if I try a few times, then I get more strength. And if you look at the top, just under where it says body, there's a, there's a couple little blinking lights. A red one and an orange one. And that means I can go up here and get more stats from yes. courage and strength. Yes. Because when you try to lift heavy things like logs and you're not strong enough, you get more strength. That's how you get strong in real life. Let's see if I can move the log now. Oh, wait. oh yeah, nice. Not very fast, but... Oh, good. Yes! Ooh, I must have accomplished something excellent. Oh, now I have to go see how the giant robot is doing down in the workshop. Well, let's go see that. Oh, I see. I've got some extra stats I can power, power up right now, though. Let's go do those on that. Yes! 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 yes. No, 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 no. no more blinking lights at the top. And ignore the numbers over to the left. Those are for debugging purposes. The top red number is the frame rate right now, which is half because I'm recording. Ooh, this looks like a note stuck to the building. Let's read what it says. Put a propeller on a motor and whack them together with a hammer and connect a battery to vent the bad farts out of the building. Okay, it says put it in the... Oh wait, what is that? If I go in here, it's telling me I can look in this book. Well, this is my Adventure Builder journal. And I'm going to put that out here so it's not in the way of stuff. But it tells me how to use things. Like I can go get sticks and pull them off trees. And I can use those sticks to make fire and do various other things it says in the book. So let's try that. Oops, drop one. The other way. Well, that's, yeah, cool. And you can do things with the fire. You can actually get hurt by the fire, too. And in the bottom, you can see my face grimacing because I'm getting hurt. All right, let's, let's get out of there. We can go drink some spring water, which is very healthy and heals you. There's also some... Also some food down there. Alright, back to this thing. I need to find the propeller. Okay, I know exactly where they are because I put them up here. Let's just grab the motor. And I pick it up and hold down Z or X. It rotates stuff. And I don't actually need a hammer to whack them together. I can do it with bare hands. But it hurts a little bit. Oh yeah, I blew the parts out of the building. Yes. That's excellent. Well, let's just get that out of the way. Yeah. It's good to be organized with all your junk. Okay, put a set up a light in the workshop. Really, you just have to turn on any light, and you just hold one over a battery. Yes! And you're covered. Let's see. Then make a flashlight, which will be very good because it's starting to get dark. 
Uh, I need a light, a wire, a gear, and then I need to whack them together. Okay, there's a light. Oh, good. Here's a gear and a wire. I'm going to use a hammer this time. Yes! And it said in the sign, use H. I should have a little screen there that says you did it, but use H to turn on your flashlight. So, oh, there's my flashlight. I don't really need it yet. It's not that dark. It's getting darker. What else do I have? Okay, now I have to finish the giant robot. Um, I don't actually remember what I need for this. Okay, but I need enough imagination to be able to write giant robot stuff in here. I'm not up to a giant robot yet. But I know I need this big bearing to build a giant robot because, you know, I programmed the game. Oh, look, you can turn on your solar panels with a flashlight. Isn't that great? Oh, yeah, fires also give you light, which is nice. Oh, here's another note. What does that say? This, the note says, I have some extra parts for you, Willis. And there's me thinking, hmm, Willis's house is... Oh, I know where Willis's house is. We can, we can just go there night and go to sleep. You can go back to the dome and go to sleep at any time. And it'll go... It'll kind of fast forward to the night and the morning. But with my trusty flashlight, I can navigate through the deep dark forest. And find Willis's house. Willis doesn't sleep for some reason. He's just always out there. Which is cool. There's his place. Hey, Willis, what's up? Let's go talk to him. He says he dropped some parts in the pond up there. There's a, there's a pond just up there. What else does he have to say? A big rock fell on the fence. And if I can... Get the rock off. He says I can keep any of the parts that are around. Hmm, let's see. I happen to know if I take a gearbox and a motor and a rope. I know this because it's in, in the book, but I don't have to read the book because I wrote the game, obviously. There, if I put that there. Let's pick up the rotator a little bit. Let's put a wire up to it. There, it's turning on and, and pulling the rock. Oh, I better stop it before it breaks down. I should probably do that in the daytime so you can actually see what's going on. But. And then here's two rings I found under the rock, which I know I happen to need. So I put them together and I turned them into a double ring, which turns into a ball bearing. If I put some balls in it. So that's basically what a ball bearing is. It's like two rings with some balls between, basically. Let's probably fast forward this part. Oh, there's some balls up here. If I drop this on all the balls and whack it, all the balls oops, go into the ball bearing, which is great because I need a big ball bearing like this. Now I wonder if I have enough imagination to write giant robot stuff in the book yet. You get imagination and intelligence by building things and playing with stuff. But then you also have to go up to the shrines and meditate on them, sort of. I don't see if anything's going on here. Oh, there's one. When you go in the house, save it. Save the game, so they do with you there a lot. Yes! 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 Just run through those real quick, because I don't need to read them, I don't know what they say. Ooh, thanks, Matthew. Well, things are running a little slow from uh, recording everything. But let's see in my book. There, now I have giant robot instructions. See, put all this stuff together. I need a big ball bearing. Uh, what's that? A gearbox, a motor, and a battery. And I know how to make a gearbox from this page, but I can also just go get one. That I really want Now if I use a crowbar, I can take things apart. The hammer puts things together, crowbar takes them apart. Okay, what did I need? A ball bearing, a thing, a thing, a thing. I think that's it. I whack those together and there's the robot body and I already have some legs here because I guess I was already working on it. I can put all these on and whack them together at once with a nice big hammer. Now I need two more legs. And the book tells me I can use pipes and small ball bearings to make legs like that. 
All right, I need to make the chair to sit in for the robot. And if I remember correctly, I need a steel box. And, uh, let's see, I need a piece of wire. And I think I need a pipe. He's a giant web forest that you can find all over the place. Oh. So it says, drag your seat onto your robot, walk into it, and wait a second to climb the board. Okay. Drag the seat onto the robot, then walk into it and wait a second, and poof, I'm in the robot. Whoa, I got a robot. This is the part where the game starts getting kind of more exciting. Uh, all that earlier stuff is uh, mostly to learn how to play. And then you go back home. Oh my gosh. It seems there's an earthquake of some kind. Let's see what Deshana says about it. Whoa, that was a huge crash. Sounds like it came from uh, northwest of here and was pretty close. So I could go investigate what's northwest of here right now. But uh, I'm going to stop this video here because I don't want to give away all the, the exciting stuff. Yeah, except for this.